Hey guys, this is Gather with Photobi USA. Today I want to tell you guys about the R2000 SVM and some of the advantages and features that it gives you over your traditional FPV receiver. This is our new ultralight micro receiver. It gives you full eight channels as well as an on-screen RSSI readout on channel 16. With the R2000 SVM, you can really fit on any build from your basic tiny whoop all the way up to you know a six inch or even macro class quad. Um, in some cases, I've actually seen it on X class quads and works really well there as well. As far as the size goes, it's 10 millimeters wide from top to bottom this way and then 20 millimeters side to side. Uh, these are gonna be using the standard Futaba antennas that you have. Um, so you're going to get that same excellent RF performance range and overall control that you're used to with our uh, radios. For the most part, all you'll really need once you're setting this up is an inverted UART or an S-Bus pad on the flight controller. Um, it's pretty simple wiring, just three wires, or if you want, you can use the included J connector and solder that directly to the flight controller so it's easy to plug and unplug between the two if you ever have to swap receivers. Um, swap quads and just want to keep the same receiver. It's one of the main advantages that you can get with this. It's the SFHSS protocol. So you can link it from the 6K, 12K, um, 10J, 8J, and anything up from there. My favorite radio to link it to is the 16SZ. Makes it easy, great control, really comfortable radio. So, as I said earlier, most of our uh, newer radios support that protocol, it makes it a lot easier to get it set up, and uh, some of them default by that protocol. So, once you've made sure that's set in, in your radio, all you'll need to do is just ensure that there is a single pattern blinking LED. As far as the LED blinks, that's saying that the receiver is receiving signal from a transmitter, but the ID codes are not matched yet. So what you need to do to match those ID codes, hold down the LED, I say, for about 1.5 seconds. So that means that the ID codes are matched and you should have no problem flying your model and getting it set up from there in your uh, favorite flight controller software. If you guys have any questions about the R2000 SPM, you can reach out to me directly at smcdaniel.fotaba.com or give me a call at the uh, Fotaba Service Center.